You see, Jehovah kept his promise. Come on, come along. Shall we let them go down too? Of course we shall. Come on. Come on, off you go. Don't be afraid, come on. That's it. Off you go. <laughs> Let's go. Go. The cats were the go. first to go. <laughs> Will the tigers become wild again now? Away from here, the beasts will become beasts again, as God created them, according to their nature. Come on, off we go. Father, everything is like it was before. All is well. Blessed be Jehovah. Everybody together, Abel, call them. This is the altar of the Lord who saved us from the flood. Here we will offer him sacrifices so that he will never abandon us. Father, if we sin, will he be angry at us again? If you sin, my son, you have nothing to fear, ever. Don't be afraid, Noah, my faithful servant. Lord, you are our only shelter. 
I'll no more henceforth curse the ground on account of man. I'll no longer drown any living thing by the waters of a flood, and I will establish my covenant with you and with your people. So seed and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Every moving thing that lives shall be food for you, as I give you the green herb. Only the meat with its blood you shall not eat. We will obey you, Lord. We will obey you. But be careful. I shall require an account of your life. I will require it at the hand of man, and at the hand of each the account of his brother's life. For in the image of God, God has made man. I set my rainbow in the clouds now. It's the sign of the covenant between me and you. Blessed are you, Jehovah, our shelter and our strength. Alleluia! Alleluia! is mine, mine alone. Of course, it's all yours. This is for our family and we won't share it with anyone. And what will you tell Noah? He's old now and he can't notice anything. My brothers, Ham and Japheth and their children, have been for a long time now hiding all they have in the caves instead of putting it at the community's disposal. And I will do the same. We'll also put the meat we hunt in caves and let it dry and when we put aside a lot of it, we will take our wagons and our animals, and we'll go away. I dream of a long trip to the edge of the earth where the sun rises. What shall we do? Mm. Uh, 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 oh, help! Oh, help. Oh, nothing! Oh, there's nothing we can the do! The earth is going to explode! This is Jehovah's anger! Jehovah promised he will no longer destroy men on earth. He promised! Look! Father, it's incredible. Have you ever seen anything like it? Yes. The heart of the earth contains contains fire, and when it boils too much and can no longer hold the fire, it comes out and becomes like a furnace. This is also of Jehovah's making, but you shouldn't be afraid. Let's go now. We have to get there before sunset. Come on, let's go. Oh, 
Go away, go away. <laughs> Drink. The weather is warm. Uh. Your sons have gathered a good crop. I know that, but they, they want to keep everything for themselves. Every lamb, every sheaf of wheat, every skin of wine. They became selfish. They forgot the days of the ark. I call them all. At sunset, they will climb the hill and come to you to celebrate the harvest. They'll celebrate with my wine. Shem will keep all he's produced for himself. Now it's time for each family to leave according to Jehovah's command to fill the earth. Then we'll lose them, is that what you're saying? Can't you see they're fighting with each other every day? I will speak to them this evening. Not this evening. Wait until the feast is over. Very well, I'll wait till the feast is over. I'll do as you wish. The wine of your vineyard this year is delicious, delicious. I want you to drink it all up tonight. Not a single drop must be left. But it's too much. When the wine is good, it's never too much. And it's better still when the wine's not your own, right? <clears throat> Shem, listen. Which goat are you giving out? Whose meat is it? Tell me. Tell me who it belongs to. It was one of the goats of your flock, father. Why didn't you bring your own goat's meat so that your old father and your brothers could eat from it? Why? Tell me why you didn't bring your own. Because everyone knows that you, Father, are the most generous of all. <laughs> <laughs> and because you became mean and selfish. Give me a drink, Jabez. You've all become mean and selfish. You forget that everything you've been given was given you by Jehovah. Thank you, my son. I'll drink my own wine. Mm Let's go greet our old father. He drank a lot last night. Did you see him too? The broth of roots and herbs will do everyone good. There is a fox. Who is father talking to? <laughs> The fox is cunning, but I am more cunning <laughs> still. <laughs> here we are. Am, why did you bring us here? Why? Go in and you'll see. <gasps> the snakes of the desert, I eat them. <gasps> Go ahead. I want to show you Noah, our father. He's all naked. <gasps> you are still afraid of him, but he's asleep. He can't see you. <laughs> Get out. Are you crazy? <laughs> Brothers, why did you two cover him? Can't you see he fell prey to his good wine? You, you two are still afraid of him. He's just an old babbler, you cowards. How could you do that? To laugh at him, to laugh at your own father. Why did you do that? Stop Why? it, stop it. Why are you fighting? I'm offended our father. He led us into his cave to see his nakedness. Stop it, stop it. I am sorry. I offended him. I was so drunk, crazy, driven by a strong desire to make fun of him. I fell prey to an evil spirit. You were still under the influence of Wineham. When he found out what I had done, he cursed me. He's also like you. He was blinded by anger. But he's a good man. He's never done any harm. What can I do? You tell me and I will do it. Go up to him and ask him to forgive you. I'll do it. This is what I'll do. 
I will go up to him on my knees and I will beg for his forgiveness, and I hope and pray in Jehovah's name that he will forgive me. Every morning our father comes here and kneels in silence and prays to Jehovah. And what does Jehovah tell him? We cannot know that. You think he still remembers my sin? After all, he did curse me before. I wonder if he forgave me now. This too, only Jehovah knows. <gasps> Noah! Noah, your sons are here! Now you will do Jehovah's will, as I have done all my life. You will go far away to the edge of the earth and continue what I began with you after the great flood. You will fill the earth. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Jehovah's eyes will be upon you. You will offer him the best of your crops and the firstlings of your flocks. You, your wives, your children and your grandchildren will always bow your heads before him, the Almighty. And you'll always wait to hear his voice and be ready to obey him. This way, his blessing will always be upon you. And so his sons went far away. From Japheth were born Gomer, Magog, Medai, Javan, Tubal, Mesech, and Tiras. And every one of them had other sons. A great nation was also born from Shem. His sons were Elam, Ashur, Arphaxad, Lud, and Aram. Ham also had sons. Chush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan, to whom other sons were born, and others still, all sons of Noah, all brothers. We walked in the forest for six days. Do you know where we're going? It's the direction of the high sun. You'll see, we'll get out of here. Jehovah sees us, he will guide our steps. The land that Jehovah has given us is marvelous. Jehovah has given us his marvelous. Go! The sun rises, Noah said. There you and your people will find the land which awaits you. Your descent will be as numerous as the grains of the desert sand. Salty. Don't drink it. That water was created for fish. Jehovah keeps the human's water deep under the ground and lets it out through springs and makes it flow into rivers. He handles our lives. You know that? Do you see? Then I won't drink it. Did 
Jehovah has been faithful to us and blessed us. Look at our sons and look at our grandsons. They seem very happy and I feel I'm very happy too. He led our caravan to this beautiful place. Here, where the sun rises, as our father Noah said. And here, in this wonderful place, at the foot of those green hills, will be the city, our city, where we all will live together and happy. And here, in this very place, my wife, our sons will build ships to cross the sea, right here. Here, at least drink this milk. For many moons, you've been eating nothing but this. Ah, uh, it's really good. Have some. Our sons have left. You've gone far away. They accomplished the will of God. And as for us, where will we go? This is our dwelling place forever. You know that. These mountains, this cave, until Jehovah calls us to his eternal gardens, where we'll finally see him face to face. <laughs> 